Hi, my name's Tom. This is my best choice products, raised bed garden, and we liked it so much we went ahead and got a second one. Uh, I actually really enjoy gardening, so we have a bunch of little gardens here. Our kitchen's right here, right here in the window. So what we do is we come out here, we come out to all these little herbs, and we can get fresh herbs anytime we want. We just kind of pick them off. We have a couple, uh, see, we got some peppers in there as well. We got cucumbers. We got a little tomato plant over there. We're just starting out this year. Uh, but you can see, these are the actual planters themselves. They are solid wood. They are fairly easy to assemble. They come with all the parts. They do come with a little uh, kind of an absorbent bag in here. And then you go ahead and provide the soil or mulch or whatever you're going to throw in there. You provide all that. You obviously provide the plants. Uh, but I want to talk about these a little bit. So first things first, the measurements are a little bit misleading. Um, when it says 34 inches wide, it means from the edge of this decorative cap to the edge of this decorative cap, it's actually only about 31 wide in there and about 15 across so the measurement is like 18 by 34 or something that's eh, a little optimistic um that's measuring the outside not the inside but it doesn't matter it still holds like two and a half cubic feet of of soil it does hold um i've got six plants right there one two three four five six yeah, i got six over there i got about uh, five or six over there not in a square uh, but you get the idea so they're still big you want to get the right size depending upon how many plants you have i'd say six plants for the smaller one is probably about the, the maximum you can do for small bushes like peppers and little tomato plants and whatnot um, a tomato plant might even over overgrow it at some point but i want to talk about a couple other things here first of all assembly assembly is pretty straightforward but you will want to use an electric drill uh all the holes are most of the holes are pre-drilled, but you're actually going to be drilling the screws into wood, and those wood that wood does not have pre-drilled holes. So you have a guide hole to put it into, but then the secondary hole will kind of go into wood, so you want to have an electric drill. You can do it with a screwdriver. It is fairly soft wood, um, but it would take a while, and it would just not be worth it. Secondarily, uh, there is drainage on this. So the way this thing works here, underneath here, these panels they actually have little holes in them there's a hole there uh there's a hole there you can see it's kind of watery there so a little some water came out it actually rained last night so the water goes through and it does drain and then they actually slide around a little bit there's a little bit of play with them when you don't have the soil on them so there's actually kind of some some slats in there so it will come out but that's where the bag comes in the bag will go ahead and keep all the soil from falling out and the water just goes right through the bag and falls down um, it's kind of a nice little system i have used it before um, but it does work pretty well and you can see the water just drips through from the bottom so it does have drainage so your, your plants are not going to get waterlogged or flooded so overall we're pretty happy with them again we got two of them we're not too worried about the, the sizing that's not a, really a big deal um assembly again was pretty straightforward they do hold up pretty well this one's about uh, two months old it's been outside the whole time and it looks almost the exact same as the new one um there's very little difference they do come in different finishes as well this is the natural finish. So after two months, the natural finish will look a little more like this. This is what it looks like just right out of the box. We just opened this one uh, two days ago, three days ago. So you kind of get the idea. Um, but yeah, they're actually really pretty good planters. They're nice raised bed. I like the fact that they are about 29, 30 inches tall. So as a tall person, I'm six foot one. I can walk out here. I can just go ahead. I can grab whatever I need, pull them off, go right back into the kitchen. It really is pretty a nice little feature to have a little garden outside. If you don't feel like planting a garden 100 feet away or in the soil, it's just really nice, and I enjoy them a lot. I really, really like these planters, and I highly recommend them.